Good morning and happy 2nd of December. Let's see what Santa has for me today. Number two, where is that right here? It's a big one, it's heavy. Well, let's start with the good thoughts for the day, nice things to do. Don't buy the Christmas tree. Faites du bien à la planète et décorez votre plante intérieure préférée. Do something nice for the planet and decorate your uh, favorite interior plants. I guess it's a good thought, but my plants, I think they would bend a little bit with the weight. But let's see what I got. Oh, full size mango shower gel. That I will be using. So that's nice but you know what I think it's time for coffee I think okay, that should be the order right this is great but coffee is in need so let's see which one I get today Distretto. okay so that's a good one to start the day with a punch so All right, cheers and good morning. Yep, now the day can begin. Let's see what else there is for this second. So this is the AMA calendar and what local thing did I get today? Oh no. Bike shop, yes. Twenty-five percent, so that's good. It's Copenhagen. Like, if you must have a bike, if you live in Denmark and you don't have a bike, there's something wrong with you. I don't really cycle that much, so maybe there is something wrong with me uh, in the city center because it, it can be uh, a little bit scary if you don't grow up in a country where there's like you know highways of bikes uh, but I do cycle uh, especially around the countryside or to go to a friend's house that are, houses that are not in the countries in the city center but uh, yes bike shop discount is a good thing and finally what's the chocolate of the day oh it's a moon Oof. I don't think you can see it makeup Focusing, I think it's too far anyway, but what counts is the intention, right? So it's a little moon and you know what else I need in my mornings? Vitamin D. No, I'm not shaking that much you guys, but yes, vitamin D because it helps you apparently cope with the uh, very dark days. I'm from Portugal, it's sunny out there. So it is a little bit hard um, to spend the winter here, which is my first year actually, because usually I, I used to be able to just work from Portugal December and January. And now due to the travel restrictions and all that, and also the, the different job that I have now, I'm just gonna have to stay put and stick to these, my boots. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. And you know what, the other day I was, uh, which was yesterday, I was looking at the clock. It's usually five minutes fast to make sure I do get to places on time. But I was about to have a work meeting and about to start my working day. So I was talking to you about uh, different ideas of gifts that you can make for your friends. And I had something uh, to show you and then I totally forget, so, forgot. So let's do it today. After 
after I sort out this mess. All done. Uh, so. Okay, so here it is. Do it yourself drinks for your friends. Um, one of them was a gift, one of them I got. So I have here Moscow Mule. It has sugar, ginger, I think, and orange inside. Let me see if I can show you with my phone. See how that goes. Okay, yeah, maybe we will see very soon. Okay, so the only instructions, this is in Danish, so every time there's a recipe or instructions in Danish, I just interpret it as I can. So sometimes I just probably come up with new things. Oh, it smells very good. Um, basically, you just pour some vodka in it and that's it. So it should not be simpler. Let's not make a mess, so I've got um, a little funnel here, but you just go ahead and pour your vodka in. It's as simple as that, and then also in the instructions it says uh, leave it for at least one week, and if you want a stronger flavor then you leave it up to three weeks. So that's perfect timing to make some uh, Christmas gifts for your friends. Oh, there you go. It's the entire bottle. Perfect. Very good. Um, and you should kind of stir it uh, twice a day. So that's the Moscow meal done and ready. Just need to this. And that's it. Could not be simple. So let's just a little shake and that's it done and then it comes with a little seed uh, so after your three weeks you're supposed to um, filter it I guess and, and get rid of all the bits because otherwise it might make it bitter or taste kind of weird so that's gift number one and then gift number two is so then you can actually, that's what I'm going to do, uh, just divide it into small little bottles and put like a personalized um, label and maybe a little message and something, uh, some ornaments that you make yourself and you make it a little bit more special for your friends. So it's DIY, but obviously you just pour vodka into it. So it's, it's not that hard. Um, gin. So let me show you what it looks inside because this one has a bunch of things in there. So there's juniper, well actually I can read from here, juniper, cardamom, some kind of other berry, coriander seeds, chamomile, lavender and uh, bay leaf. So I can try and show you as well uh, with my phone what it looks like. Ugh, come on focus. There we go. Alright, so it looks very pretty. And it smells very good. I think it's the juniper, right? Gin. It smells like juniper. And you just put vodka to make gin. Uh, anyway, that's what they tell you to do, so that's what I do. But basically it's just a something uh, high on alcohol. Obviously vodka and gin are different drinks. So, quite impressed. So far, no mess. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. And again, it looks like I might be able to just use the entire volume, which is perfect. Excellent. And that's that. 
So then I'm gonna just stir them each day and leave them for a few weeks before I make my little personalized gifts. It looks so pretty. It really does. All right, um, and then do the same just after that time. I can maybe have a little taste. And then when I decide that it's ready, then I'll just use this to get rid of the, all these things and just have the, the clear drink. So there you go, two uh, ideas. And I guess if you don't have the pre-mixed, um, I'll just uh, put the list here of what was inside each box. So I, I, all of these seem to be very easy to find. So you can make your own mixture and then um, just make your own drinks. So you're welcome. Idea, gift idea number one. There you go, more coming this week. Um, I need to get ready and go to work. And maybe in my lunchtime or after work, I'm gonna go and have a look uh, in shops, uh, hopefully off peak, well, and uh, when there's uh, not many people around because of, well, I don't like places with many people, but also because of Corona, so we need to maintain our distance and wear masks all the time and all that. Um, but so I will show you the decorations. Uh, there's a few main places and uh, it seems that you do see kind of the same things and the same brands and the same objects, but then each shop will have arranged them differently. So I'm going to show you that, uh, which may or may not be super interesting because it's just shops, but it's basically uh, a lot of uh, Danish design stuff, which is nice for you to know, I guess, if you don't live in Denmark. And uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll show you a little bit about the um, Christmas market. So I can't show you the actual Christmas markets this year because they're cancelled, but I can show you uh, in Denmark uh, in Copenhagen where they're supposed to be and then I have some footage from uh, last year uh, which will also be nice to kind of relive the experience since uh, uh, I can't do it in person um, this year. So that's it. I'll see you later. Gotta go to work. Bye! Hi again. Not so fast I guess. I forgot one other little Vlogmas uh, or December ritual, which is set stuff on fire. Danish love setting things on fire and candles. So it is the 2nd of December, so I have to light up my candle and burn the corresponding portion uh, to the 2nd of December and then stop it. Um, so I'll do that a little bit now. Obviously, I'll extinguish it when I go to work and then when I'm back home. Um, it will burn a little bit more so that then it's at the right level so that tomorrow I can start day three. So let's light things up. It's the second day of Christmas. Stop this one. There we go. And then the actual calendar can move. Oh, done.